guys so it's kiosha i'm back for another video so if you like these type of budget videos make sure you guys subscribe make sure you follow me on my social media accounts make sure you guys share this with all of your friends so without further ado let's just get into the video okay you guys so i had a lot of questions from my, how i spend 200 dollars a month on four people so today um i am going to show you guys how i meal plan in order to stay in my 200 hundred dollar budget and how we have um, new and different meals every day based off of this meal plan so if you like this video once again make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys share it um, also I will have um, this spreadsheet available soon after this video so if you guys would like access to the spreadsheet please let me know by commenting down below if you guys comment down below then I'll go ahead and release it but if nobody wants the spreadsheet then I won't release it so um, just let me know in the comments so let's get into the spreadsheet okay you guys so as you guys know my grocery budget is $200 a month so I have that right here in this column and you can see it equals 200 minus D156 which is the total amount around here including your tax so down at the bottom of my spreadsheet I have groceries I have all the Walmart meal plan week one shopping list week two shopping list ingredients and recipes as I go through the spreadsheet I'll tell you about the um, different tabs so right here of course I have my um, budget amount minus the total amount of everything that I'm going to buy on this list now this is just my list this is staples in my house I recommend you have staples of things that you buy on a regular basis with the prices now I use the price that is a normal price i do not use sales prices so that way if i get to the store and it's on sale then i'll save money but if it's not on sale and it's a regular price then i know how much money i am going to spend at that day at the grocery store so if i spend less that's a plus but i don't want to spend more than what i think i'm going to spend when i go to the store um i try to update this every time i go grocery shopping so the last time I updated was on June the 1st and I haven't been grocery shopping since June the 1st. So I'm actually going to be going grocery shopping this weekend. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, I do shop $100 for every two weeks. So I'll be spending the other $100 for the next two weeks in June. So you guys will be going through that with me today. Now my favorite stores are Aldi, Piggly Wiggly, Walmart and the dollar store sometimes I get like my olive oil and things like that from the dollar store but I don't go there very often but these are my three main stores and the reason I have them here is because you're able to pick which store you want to buy these items for so for instance if I want to get the boneless chicken thighs I can pick whether I'm going to get from Aldi, Piggly or Walmart depending on who's having a sale I may switch up stores and things like that so that is what that is for and this is an infinite um, formula so what that means is that you can keep adding down here and more stores how many ever stores you need like if I add um, let's see what's another store Publix I don't go to Publix because they do high but if I was adding Publix I'll put Publix right there and now as you can see Publix is on the list but if I delete Publix you'll see here Publix is not on the list so now when you go down here I'm going to show you guys my tax in Birmingham is 10%. So I took D154, which is this subtotal, times 10%, and then it will give me the total. So for instance, this if I pick one of this extra version of the for a dollar, it'll add the 10% tax and tell me it's a dollar and 10 cents, and it will take it away from the top, telling me I have $198.90 left to spend so that is how this spreadsheet works you only need to put in the, the amount and the quantity do not type in this field or it will mess up the formula if you get this spreadsheet and don't type in this field you need to just pick it from the drop down um so you only type in this field and this field and these fields right here okay so let's move on to the grocery side we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a couple of things so you can see how it works so for instance Aldi had drumsticks on uh sometimes and they'd be like two dollars ninety cents so let's just say I want to get two of those and then Walmart has chicken wings so let's just say we're gonna get four of them um let's see what else I usually get let's get some asparagus and some spinach some frozen broccoli um what else i want to get i want to get some bell peppers the red ones let's get a cabbage um let's say we need some eggs 
I'm going to get this 60 count. And I like to put the count for each different store. Like this one's for three cups of shredded trees, but this one's for eight cups. So I like to have that, you know, I may need more cheese for a recipe than I do for another one. So I don't want to get any more cheese than I need. So I like to do that. Um, so yeah, so take for instance, we go to the Aldi tab. Now I have these as all these in Walmart, but I might change it to just um, shopping um, pr list prices or something shopping list i guess something like that because you can actually use the drop down to change the store so for instance it knows from this sheet that i picked drumsticks asparagus red bell peppers and shredded cheese from all these it tells me how much it costs how many units i chose and what's the total so if you see it down the bottom when i go to aldi and get these um four items i should spend 18 dollars and 23 cents and then I can do the same thing for Piggly Wiggly. It'll say nada if I didn't choose anything. So I don't have anything for Piggly Wiggly. Um, Walmart. I chose the chicken wings, the spinach, the broccoli, the red cabbage, and the eggs. So if you see, I will spend $56.33 at Walmart. So that is how that works, you guys. And then I have the extra version of the well, at the dollar store so that is how this spreadsheet works okay so let's walmart this one that says walmart is the same exact thing it just i can always keep it on walmart or i can I always keep this one on all these so that way i don't have to go back and forth but i think it's easier just to you know do it like this and what i like to do is if you select just this you can do file print Let's see you can do print and only print the selection and you can print out this grocery list see it will print it out for you um, let's do portrait so it come on one page see so it will print it out nice shopping list for walmart um but this tells you the spreadsheet that's why i might change it to shopping list so that it's just generic so it tells you chicken wings spinach frozen that and then it'll tell you the total at the bottom the day you printed it and all that kind of stuff so i really really like that aspect of this so next let's move on to talk about the ingredients so here is where all of those meal plans and shopping list tabs will generate so right here a bag of chips these are the different kind of dishes i have what amount i need of each thing in the dish the units of each thing in the dish and the ingredients in each dish so for instance a bag of chip if i say the side is a bag of chip we only need one bag of chips okay baked chicken legs so you need five chicken legs and four chicken wings okay for baked legs i need nine legs for the chicken wings for baked leg quarters i need four each um for the bacon chicken foil wraps i need one cup of barbecue sauce four chicken breasts one green pepper one teaspoon of kosher salt and one um red onion okay so then if i want to cook broccoli and cheese i have broccoli two cups of broccoli and a half a cup of cheddar cheese so you get the point so you basically have to list everything in the ingredient now i will tell you like this says 48 teaspoons the reason why i did that is because you have to have everything in the same sort of kind of um unit so you know, I found everything didn't come in tablespoons, but you can convert tablespoons into teaspoons. So I just made everything into teaspoons. And if you want to know how many tablespoons it is, you just multiply it times three and it'll tell you how many tablespoons it is. And I found that easier for me. But when you do the spreadsheet, you can do whatever you would like. So these are all the different kind of meals that we have, you know, stir fry, stuffed mushrooms, stuffed peppers, stuffed zucchini, taco salad um stuff shells now after you put all your ingredients in you need to go to the recipe tab and you need to put the recipes and how many people it serves and if you have a recipe book you can put what page it is on in the recipe book so what i do is i printed this out and put it in my recipe book so when i go to the beginning of my recipe book if i want something that serves six people i'll do the chicken taco lettuce wraps or you know and it'll just tell me how many people it will serve and then i can choose if this is a main dish or a side dish so that's what i like to do with mine so after you typed everything into there then you'll go to the meal planning section and i have monday i do two weeks at a time so i have a monday to a sunday and then i do um the dates from the 19th to the so we're doing from june the 19th to july the 2nd so here is a drop down of everything that this right here is everything from your recipe book so i have baked 
chicken foils what we're going to have on monday with a side of rice on tuesday we're going to have chicken taco lettuce wraps um on wednesday we're going to have pan seared tilapia with spicy roasted cabbage wedges and rice on um, thursday we're having baked chicken with legs rainbow veggie saute on friday we're having mini pizzas and a bag of chips and then on um, Saturday we're having turkey burgers and french fries and so on and so forth so after you've chosen your um, recipes um, you know you can mix and match it as you want like if you want something with your stuffed shells you can say I want some rice to go with my stuffed shells but yeah so you have the date the day your main dish your side dish one and side dish two so I'll have cooked baby spinach for my side dish one and um, course rice with my pork chops so that's how you can do that okay so after you have decided what meals you want for the two weeks i do by two weeks you know you can do this by the one week it's just up to you i will move on to the week one shopping list and the week one shopping list is very detailed you guys it will tell you one cup of um, barbecue sauce for each of the chicken breasts one each green pepper one teaspoon kosher salt one each of a red onion one package of course rice so like i said on the meal plan if i go and change these chicken package to let's say spaghetti when you go back to week one shopping list now it will say you need one loaf of french baguette one pound of ground turkey one box of spaghetti noodles one jar of spaghetti sauce one package of rice because i still have the rice right there so basically i will print this out and then once i print it out you can shop your cabinet so i print this out and i go into my kitchen and i go through my pantries i go through my freezer i go through my deep freezer and i cross out anything that i already have so i don't want to be buying stuff over and over again so if i already have it in the house and it's already there then i will cross it out and it will only leave the stuff that i need to buy when i go to the grocery store so if we need barbecue sauce chicken breast green peppers red onions and rice so i'll go on here and i will fill this in so we need zero, zero. So we need chicken breast. Y'all see chicken breast? Okay, so one chicken breast. We're gonna get it from Aldi. And I kind of leave the chicken, leave what store I normally buy these items from in this side. Like if I put it in there once, I'll leave it there unless I know there's a sale. We need a barbecue sauce. So as you can see, I have them again: meats, produce, snacks, dairy, frozen bread and break it canned goods dry goods so i think the barbecue sauce and the dry goods the barbecue sauce we need um one thing of rice and we needed a red onion so the produce red onion yellow red onion i don't have the price for the red onion so when i go to aldi this time i'm going to take my receipt and update it when i go to aldi for the price of the red onion but I can kind of guess if these red onions is a dollar twenty-eight, I'm assuming it's gonna be like a dollar twenty-eight as well. It could be a little bit more. So we'll just stick that in there and we'll adjust as we need it. And we needed some kosher salt. Now I probably already have kosher salt in there, but this is just for you guys' as reference. So there you go. Now for day two, we're having the tacos. So we need um tomatoes, chicken breasts. Um, kosher salt, salsa, taco season, and the romaine lettuce. So we need taco seasoning. We need, the, we already got the kosher salt. We already got um, the, so we need salsa. And we already got the, um, the chicken breast because I'm sure there's enough in there to do the taco salads as well and then you do the same thing for all the rest of these days and once you get through putting everything in then you would go to your little tab and see at walmart this is what i'll need at walmart and then this is what i'll need at aldi now it's 22 dollars 98 cent at aldi and at walmart it's 15 dollars and six cents so now you'll have an idea of what it is that you will spend at the store and if you look down here, you still have $160.88 left because after you go shopping for those two days, it should cost you $39.12. That is what that will do. As you can see, uh, what are we having on Tuesday? I don't have any cheese on there. I need to do cheese and sour cream. So as you can see, so I'll show you guys how to fix that. So if you need to add something, so let's do our taco salads. 
show you how to add some. So we're going to do the romaine lettuce one. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. So insert row below, insert row below, insert row below. So we're going to drag this down to copy and we're going to need probably one cup shredded cheddar, half cup of sour cream. Um, what else did we do? I think that's it. So we can delete this row. So we're going to delete this row. And now when we go back to our shopping list, now let's add one cup of sh a shredded cheddar and a half a cup of sour cream. So as you see, if you see you're missing some for your recipe, you just insert rows, you know, put the header in there, type what you need, and it will automatically update your shopping list, you guys. So All right, you guys. So this is how I um, meal plan. It takes me anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to meal plan. I start with making out what I am going to have on my um, meal plan spreadsheet. Then I go ahead and look at my shopping list, go shop my closet, and then my kitchen, I mean. And then when I shop my kitchen, I come back in and put everything that I need on that spreadsheet. I print out each store, let me me know what I need from each store and then that is how I budget that is how I keep my budget at $200 for four people so if you guys like this video please make sure you give it a thumbs up remember if you want this spreadsheet you are gonna have to let me know in the comment section below so type down below if you guys want this spreadsheet let's get this video to 200 likes and I'll see you guys next time bye